kind of an extreme close-up here. Unintentional. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm to see if that's too loud, we'll see. Uh, and I'm getting all these notifications on my phone. Um, anyway, focus. Kelly Alexa, I'm back. High five, fist pump, how's it going? A um, Couple of things. The reason I had an extreme close-up there is because, I think I have to turn this down a little, don't you? This is my cool Verizon um, UE Boom, that's the name of it. You can get it at verizon.com. Um, anyway, the reason that I was up close when I started this is I am coming to you live from my new house in Austin. That's also hence why it is so echoey in here. My furniture has not been delivered for my living room and it's a big room with big walls, high ceilings, hardwood floors, so it's very, very echoey. You hear that? Um, but the also the other thing I realized today as I set this up and got very excited to get back into my um, content creation and publication uh, process, procedure, what am I trying to say? Um, procedure, process, whatever, I cannot find my remote. So one of the odd things is, is in the move, I also lost the cord, or am I actually looking at the cord I thought I lost? <laughs> That is the cord I thought I lost. Whew, things are just going, yeah. Um, I thought I lost this cord, but now I've gained this cord and I lost my um, remote control. Small details, we'll get it all taken care of. So anyway, um, I'm also immediately regretting putting on this sweatshirt because uh, it is 80 and humid out. I actually just shut my doors because it was so windy and crazy. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Thanks JLo for stopping in. Um, but now I forgot when you, I have to also get used to, you guys know in my old house I had you, meaning the tripod and everything up on the kitchen counter, and I have it on the kitchen counter in here, but I have to get used to lighting, and I might need to go somewhere else. Actually, this is kind of okay, it's just weird, like you have a different, and obviously I haven't decorated, there's nothing on the counter back here, I haven't just decided what I'm doing back there yet, but one of the things that's different about me is I'm learning to be patient. We'll see how that goes, because I'm not normally patient, as you know. Um, so let me make this video a quickie for you. Um, I just wanted to step in, say hi, say you are going to see me um, here on YouTube um, a lot more regularly. Um, a lot of you guys, I mean, frankly, when I start updating you and shooting some of these videos on um, some of my health issues that I've had to address, some of the things that happened uh, last year, some of the lessons I've learned, um, I'm really going to focus on doing, again, shorter videos, but kind of sticking to certain topics um, and then potentially getting back into some kind of regular, you know, the vlogs that you guys like. But so many of you, I've learned, just follow me here on YouTube. Some people just follow me on Facebook. Some people just follow me on um, Twitter. Some people are just on Periscope, although I'm wondering if, if anybody, it doesn't seem like a lot of people are on Periscope um, lately. Um, more people and more people are tending to go to Instagram Live and Instagram. This is crooked. Um, so I'm gonna figure out really where the best places are to regularly post, um, and I will be blogging again as well. Big difference is you guys have known me. You've been watching me for a while. Um, I'm not gonna <laughs> shoot for the moon and make unreasonable or set unreasonable expectations and goals for myself. That's one of my problems, as I always say. <clears throat> I think I have tea in my, the back of my throat. I, I come back and I've done this before. I'm like, I'm back! I'm gonna blog every day! I'm gonna do this every day! And then I fail miserably and I'm disappointed and I get stressed and one of the big things I'm working on this year and going forward because it's tied to the health issues um, that I have, meaning, let me just give you a preview, I was diagnosed with adrenal fatigue um, the end of last year. And you'll understand, I'll, I'll do some videos on that, why I ended up with adrenal fatigue. It's very easy to see. Um, I should have put my hair up because it's very warm in here with all these lights shining on me and this damn sweatshirt. That was a bad idea. No, I'm not taking the sweatshirt off because all I have underneath this is a workout tank and it would be just too booby-ish. I'm just not gonna go there. Um, so anyway, adrenal fatigue, 
one of the things that I have to be focused most on, in addition to what my new doctor down here in Austin is telling me to do, Dr. Lane Sebring, um, stress reduction. Stress reduction means giving myself a break. Stress reduction means focusing on sleep. Stress reduction means not letting douchebags bother me like I used to. Stress reduction means understanding things that you can control and things you can't. All of this is tied to what you do with your fitness. And I am so, so passionate about, you know, being brutally honest with you guys, sharing what I've learned so that you can learn, maybe catch some of my mistakes before you make them. That's, that's what I hope. Um, so anyway, I will be catching you guys up on everything um, health related. You know, we haven't been here on YouTube for a while, so I will be updating you on that, um, updating you on, you know, I had to take a lot of steps back with my fitness journey. I had to stop working out and training the way I'm used to because of my health issues. I'll detail that out and how I'm um, getting back into it, but I have to go back in steps. And it's really hard for me to do what I'm doing, which is break it back in slowly. You guys know me. Just like with saying I want to come back and, and shoot YouTube videos every day and blog every day. My tendency is to go balls to the wall while I'm learning that that's, that tendency is what ended me up with uh, adrenal fatigue, with Hashimoto's, with all of these other issues that I'm uh, working to address. So um, fitness isn't just about how you look and how many calories you burn. It's really much more so what I'm seeing is, you know, getting healthy and, and looking at your long-term, your, you know, your life. I'm 47, you know, I'm looking forward to how healthy and, and fit I'm gonna be 20 years from now, 40 years from now. Um, yeah, I plan on living past, you know, 90, I think someone's calling me, um, and bothering all you guys. Can you imagine me doing YouTube videos when I'm 90? Shut up. My friend here is going to be a guest on the uh, videos, but he's not quite ready, so anyway. That's it. I'm, uh, what am I? I'm at seven minutes. Um, this is, this is a world record for me to come back and do an under 10 minute video, but I did want to just jump back in, say hello, say you will be seeing me more regularly here. Um, I don't want to be crazy and say I'll be here every single day, but it'll definitely be every week. And then I'll be letting you know other places where you can tune in. Um, we're going to be doing quite a lot more, um, fun stuff with the guests that we've had on the Fit Fluential Radio podcast. I will link up to this below. And it's really, really important to me for you that you guys head over to iTunes or Stitcher or SoundCloud, wherever, and subscribe to the Fit Fluential Radio podcast because I'm going to tell you the people that we've had on the show and the topics that we're discussing. This is not the show that's going to help you get ripped abs. This is the show that's going to help you understand how you can change your life for the better by changing your health. And a lot of this stuff is just lifestyle, how you can get better sleep, um, what affects better sleep, um, what really matters. You know, people are still hung up on crazy things like fat grams and being scared of fat and thinking it's all about cutting carbs and excessive cardio. You're gonna learn so much. I have yet to have somebody that I have sent to that show not come back and say, oh my God, changing my life. I'm obsessed with it. I'm listening to it all the time. I'm telling all my friends. I'm telling all my clients to listen to it. So please do yourself a favor. Do me a favor because I'm very proud of the work that Kevin and I have done there. Go over to fitfluctualradio.com. Start listening to some shows. Um, let me know what you think. We're going to be doing, uh, we actually started this last month. Um, we have some going on tonight. We have uh, Twitter chats that we're hosting with Fitfluential um, as the host. Um, with a ton of the guests that have been on the show. So we're talking about hormonal balance, fat loss, um, insulin resistance, hypothyroidism, uh, paleo, all anything you can think of that's for better health and longevity, we're gonna be talking to these experts and educating you. It's a great chance to get connected with these expert practitioners and learn from them and ask them questions live. Um, we'll also be hosting a lot of Facebook Live videos, Kevin and I, on the Fitfluential Facebook page, also on my new Facebook page, Kelly A. Alexa, and Kevin will have his own Facebook page up as well. Um, and then we have a new partner. I'm not going to announce it, but I'm just gonna give you a preview. We have a new partner um, that I will be doing a video for a little bit later this week that based on all of the information overload that is out there and information, follow-up information that people ask for us, I'm gonna hit 10 minutes, damn it. Um, we have a partner that, let me just say, how do I, how do I, 
put this into like a, a metaphor. You know, I'm all about the metaphors. Um, it, it lets us take all of these resources and sources of information and great people and articles and research and consolidate them into one place where it can be accessible for you. I was so impressed with them that I almost stalkered, stalkered them, stalker chased them, whatever, um, to work together because I'm like, what you guys have created is, is the answer for what we need to back up everything that we're doing. Because you know, you listen to something verbally and you can't store it in your brain. You need a place to store it and it doesn't really work for Pinterest, it doesn't work for any of the social platforms. Um, I'm really excited about this partnership, so we'll tell you about that too. So, be back here on YouTube a lot. We're doing big, huge changes with Fitfluential. Um, you definitely want to tune into that at fitfluential.com. Make sure you check out the podcast, Fitfluential Radio. I am the co-host there. Kevin Cottrell is my co-host, my other co-host. And then we have the most amazing guests on the show, Twitter chats, um, Facebook Live videos, all kinds of stuff. And again, I am now living in Austin, Texas. I have been through the worst year of my life. 2016 was the worst, 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 worst year of my life. I wanted to give up in every area of my life. And you guys have probably never heard me say that, but I will share. I, I'm so glad I stuck with it because I learned so many lessons. I am a much better person in every single way. And I'm more excited about the future than I ever have been in my whole life. I'm more excited about Fitfluential than I've ever been in the five years since I founded the company. I'm more excited about my personal life and my health uh, and my future um, and the ability that I have to use my lessons to help other people than I've ever been in my whole life. Um, I just know what my purpose is and I'm excited and um, nothing's gonna stop me. So just for old time's sake, <gasps> did you like that? That really resonated very loud. I <laughs> just freaked somebody out that's sitting here. So, hey, I gotta go. Of course I didn't go under 10 minutes. It was really great to see you guys again. Leave me a comment below. Um, tell me what, I'm just curious, for those of you guys that do leave comments, tell me what social platforms you use the most. I would just be curious to see if you're using Periscope, Snapchat, Instagram Stories, Instagram Live, Facebook Live, yada, 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 and I will see you back here soon. And pray for me that I find my remote control, because doing this sucks.